It's finally happening. We're doing the Hauer on Mauer in power, but with a twist. Because in our last video, our top comment was from Deer Slayer saying that they want us to do the Hauer on Mauer, but we get to upgrade Tesla Storm, but we have to do our Dark Ops challenge during this. So that's what we're doing today. And as you can see here on the Dark Ops tab, you can't really see what challenges you haven't done. They're all classified. So I Googled it. And I think the one we're going to do today is good enough, which is reach round 20 using only your starting loadout and no upgrades. But they did say that we can upgrade Tesla Storm and this is actually one of my favorite field upgrades, so I'm really happy about it. Let's go ahead and get this thing to tier five. Clean. But before we hop into it, if you want to leave any weapon challenge or upgrade suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed, so make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. I'm actually pretty excited for this, not only because we get to do the Hauer Mauer in power, like we've been talking about forever, but we actually get to use a decent weapon. The Hauer is probably like I don't know, top 10, maybe top five weapons that you can spawn in with here in zombies. And we've been on a pretty bad streak of just terrible weapons. Like we just did the Swiss and then the hammer and sickle. And honestly, I don't even remember what was before that. But this is going to be such a breath of fresh air to use a weapon that is like something I might actually hop into a zombies game with. But outside of like, you know, this first room and everything until we get all the way down to power room, I'm going to try to get all my kills specifically in that room, at least as long as I can. But we're going to need some cash first before we move on down to power so zombies help me out here actually i should probably start trying to go for headshots too i maybe i should have put a, a optic on this but we can probably get through it just iron sights and i wonder if they mean just strictly our loadout like can we use any nades or anything or i every kill has to be from the hower like does the field upgrade count because that's technically an upgrade but i'm not gonna pack a punch it or upgrade it at the armor stand until we like get all the way towards round 20. I want to see if we can actually unlock this. But there's always been a debate between the Hauer and the Gallo. How are these nuts, by the way? On whether or not which shotgun is better than the other. And the Hauer's the, the shotgun that can basically one shot on any round with the right build. I don't have my shotgun class fully upgraded, so I couldn't put everything on here. But I do have like the task force barrel, the, the six round mag or the six round tube. I put the agency suppressor on here just so I can get a little more scrap so I can upgrade this later on. And we got the ember sighting point. So honestly, I don't think like the wrap or uh, an optics really going to help damage wise. Maybe we do have the most damage on here. But personally, I've always been team Gallo just because uh, I have little baby brain and I just want to keep shooting my gun. And once the Gallo is like fully upgraded or pack a punch, it becomes like fully automatic. But the Howard's still really good as long as you can aim it, which I seem to be having a hard time doing. Oh my Lanta. But hopefully this being a very powerful weapon, it can actually carry us all the way to round 20 without us needing any upgrades. Seems like it's doing pretty fine right now. And I'm also going to assume that by upgrades, they mean perks as well. So as much as I'd like to pick up dead shot over here, we're going to have to wait. We can cross this without getting hit. Stupid ass trains. I'm faster and smarter than you. Oh, actually, I don't know about faster, but I crossed the track before you did. So L and now we have reached the power room. So let's go ahead and turn on that power. Psych, you thought. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should stay in the power room in the dark until we reach round 20. Because just look at this room. Hold on. Let me hide my camera. Look at this. This is such a, a cool aesthetic. I, I wish there was an option to just turn off the lights when you have power on. Because I still want to go up and grab Pack-A-Punch in my perks and everything. But this room is just so sick with no lights. Like, this is the, the most aesthetically pleasing map in Cold War. Like, this feels the most like a, a zombie's map. And I love that you can even just turn off your flashlight. Like, this is cool and all. But I like this. And now we just need to survive 14 more rounds over here. Which is going to be tough. And I'm really going to try hard not to use, like, any nades. And I won't use my fuel upgrade unless I really, really need to. I want to make sure that we get this Dark Ops done. Maybe I should turn on my flashlight, though. I don't want to get hit by a zombie that I can't see. And this is already kind of tough. All these zombies are slow. I can't imagine once they start getting a little pep in their step. Oh, I'm out of ammo. All right, new rule. I'm allowed to leave power for ammo. Otherwise, this would be impossible. And to add on to the little rhyme or whatever, like the Hauer Mauer and power, somebody said that I should eat something sour, and I got this whole bag of warheads right here. I'm not going to eat all of them, but I'll have one right now. Let's go with lemon. I feel like that's the most sour flavor they got. So just to prove it to you, hold on, pause. It is a warhead. Focus camera. I'm like a, a makeup YouTuber. Now check this out. Ready? I'm going to unpause so the round starts. And I'm going to have to fight the zombies while fighting off the sour. Oh, wait. Hold on. Pause again. Woo! I got it. It's like stuck to the wrapper. All right, here it goes. Oh! Ugh. 
I just brushed my teeth. And this is a bad combo. Ooh, this is fucked up. Oh, not my ammo. You know what? I'm taking it out on these zombies. Oh, shit. I'm going down. Well, the sour isn't helping with the mower and bower. Zombies, I do need you to let me go down these stairs. Thank you. I'll be taking that ammo. Let me back up the stairs now, please. Of course, the second I buy ammo, we get a max ammo. It's like it, it it's coded in there to spawn in a max ammo after you buy ammo. This is starting to taste really good now. Once you get past the sour, it's like a lemon drop. But we no longer have a self revive and we are like only halfway through this dark ops. Can I buy one? No, I'm broke as shit. All right, well, let's just be smarter. Oh, and there's a panzer. Great, fantastic. You know what? How's the storm time? Eat your heart out, buddy. We'll see if this counts for the dark ops. Later, loser. At this point, I'm assuming they mean just not to upgrade your weapon. Keep it at red. That's what we'll do. So I ain't going down. No sorry. I cannot wait to get this thing pack a punch though. I would have chosen the eight round tube, but every loadout I looked up said to use the six because the, re the reload's faster. And once you pack a punch, you're gonna get more ammo in it anyways. The two bullets only really make a difference if you're doing some dumb shit like this. Oh, we got disciples spawning down here now. That's hoed. Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna die i only got 50 health come on give me a tells a storm please there's a max ammo not exactly what i'm looking for it could be helpful let's try to get to no bullets in this and then pick it up clean cancel the reload okay i'm starting to figure out how to train in here disciple if you could kindly not that'd be fantastic no fuck dude i blame that on the warhead this is uh, the final stats for our first game all right let's try this again all right tempest give me your shit let me eat your poop thank you no trains hit me again fuck you trains and we have officially made it back to power Put in our little fuse and now we have to play the waiting game again honestly us like dying and restarting this maybe uh we'll get our critical kills done before our pack a punch kills this time around i just gotta actually aim for the head actually since we had to restart i think i have to redo the sour what flavor are we going with this time i'll try some blue raspberry oh hold on panzer you're gonna have to wait a second pal we're taking a blue raz hold on Ah, uh, wait a minute. This pack is empty. Look at this. I got scammed. There's nothing in this. Let me make sure I didn't drop it. Whoa. Blue raspberry. Luckily, I came prepared with another one. This one actually has it in there. All right, let's do this, Panzer. Oh. Very sour. I don't have a thousand storm to deal with this guy. Oh my god. You know, X Games mode. Bro, chill. Fuck off! Oh, that's death. It's the Warhead curse, I'm telling you. They don't want to see me winning. Oh, fuck me, dude. He's gonna kill me again. I got nowhere to go. Oh, wait, we're gonna sneak past him. We have to leave power, I'm sorry. We have to do it. Sign decoy. I need ammo, that was my excuse for leaving. Oh, he's so close to dying, too. But so am I. Come on! Got the fucker. Warheads are actually very tasty once you get through the sour. This is nice. Oh, there's our bloodshed camo. We're at 1,500 kills. Oh, and there's Conviction. We're all done with our Jackrabbits. Look at us still getting shit done. Okay, so my strategy is to stay back here until most of the zombies spawn. And then we kind of train around a little bit. Bring them on back. Take a few shots. And then we have to run right through again. Loop on through here. We'll kind of loop back because we fucked up. And we're chilling. I am just really scared for that Disciple to show up. Is him doing like that, the health the health take? The health sap? Not good for me. So I can't even like walk past it without it like trying to kill me or almost kill me or killing me. All three of those options. Oh, there's a Disciple. Get hit with a Tesla Storm, bitch. And die. Yeah, I'm feeling a little more confident now that he's dead. Let's start on a decoy so I can actually reload. All right. We're doing it. Look at us adapting. Let's fucking go. Only five more rounds. We're making good progress here. Oh, and it torments around? This is perfect. As long as they don't kill me. So far, so good. I haven't been killed. Ah! Almost got me on that one. Gotta be quicker than that, though. All right, come here, Panzer. That's a storm time, buddy. Hold on, excuse me while I reload. Excuse my dope-ass swag. Please excuse it. Can't forget the P. On the decoy, please. Always use your manners when dealing with zombies. That Panzer is one shot, and I don't know if I can get to it. We gotta throw a decoy. It's our only way out. Oh, shit in my ass, dude. Panzer is dead. Now we just gotta deal with the zombies. Somehow. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm the greatest of all time. That was insane. I really thought I was dead there on that train. Oh, and I got bars. 
Look at me. Oh, we are handling this. And we have so much scrap. We hit around milestone and got all that extra. We're going to re reward ourselves with a self-revive. All we got to do is survive the rest of this round. Oh, there's 750 crits. Look at us. There we go. Let's grab that selfie. And honestly, I'm going to grab some decoys. Our game lives on. Okay, decoy, because I got to reload. And I'm very low on ammo. I probably should check that out first. And there's a disciple in here. That's fun. That's great. I'm going to go get ammo. You guys got to let me back in here, please. You guys also have to give me enough kills so I can use this Tesla Storm. The shotgun isn't killing very reliably right now. Okay, decoy. Come on, we're just like one kill away. There we go. And then Tesla Storm. Bitch-ass Tempest or Disciples. See, I don't even know your name. Irrelevant. Just two more rounds. That's all we need. I'm debating whether or not I should pick up this insta-kill. Because we don't have a Tesla Storm, so it'd be very nice to get one back. But our shotgun isn't reliably killing, so... I'll be a beta cuck and use an insta-kill. We're almost there. And then we're actually ready to start the camo grind. Oh, no! Okay, well, we're back down. That's fun. That's fantastic. I mean, I think we have enough for another self-revive. I don't remember how much it goes up after buying one, but we should be good. Knock on wood. Bars, again. Somebody stop me. I'm throwing an aid. Fuck them. And we got one more round to go. Please, can I afford a self-revive? Uh, no. I need 300. We can do one more round. Shh. Easy. I swear, if I die on round 19, I'm not trying it again. I'll take the L on the dark ops. Okay. All right. 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 Chill. 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 I'm throwing decoys. Fuck them. Get on it. Tesla storm. While I reload. Go ahead and take all that damage, zombies. You fucking buffoons. Oh, they dropped me armor. Thank you. Appreciate it. And guess what? Decoy again. Dab on them. The decoy didn't go down. I watched it get thrown. Decoy now. Oh, no health. You guys are eating a nade. Fuck you. Oh, and that's the round. Did we get our did we get our dark ops? Let's fucking go, baby. Good enough. All right, we need to go kill this Tempest and uh, actually turn on power because I never killed the second Tempest. If I get hit by a train here, the video ends. Oh, it's a, it's a fucking Tormentor round. This is beautiful. The game's looking out for me. I don't want to get dusted, though, while I'm fighting this Tormentor. There we go. I'm out of ammo. Oh, my God. I'm stressing hard. Okay, I think we survived it. Let's go. Give me that fuse. Give me that max ammo. Let's turn on power. Get pack punch and everything. All right. Uh, power is back on. And I am getting the fuck out of here. And a panzer spawned. What else? Might as well bring Valentina in. The Wonder Fizz is probably open for business. I'm going to go grab perks. Never mind. Because I'm fucking hitting all the wrong buttons. I'm just going to have to train. I'm so stressed. I just need pack a punch. That's it. I just need a little bit of help here. Actually, can I buy a self revive real quick? I got enough. Mm, these zombies are cocking me out of it. I cannot. What about some armor? There we go. Okay, I might have to throw a nade here just to get a Tesla Storm so I can buy shit. So I'm doing it. Okay, maybe multiple nades are needed. I might as well fucking start up Pack-A-Punch. Whatever, there's already all this chaos going on. What's one disciple gonna do? All right, we got our Tesla Storm. We just need this guy to die and literally everybody else will. Got it. Don't die here. Don't fucking die here. Oh, I'm so clean. Pack a punch one, pack a punch two, pack a punch three. Got it all the way up. We got a calling card for it too. Okay, I'm feeling way more confident surviving. What a rough start to this game, but we're finally actually able to grind out these camos. And what did I say about only getting kills in power? I lied. Some kills out here are necessary. I'll try to do most of it in power though. Smiles and winks. And we actually have a crawler, a rare occurrence in Cold War. I'm gonna grab cryo. I'm gonna go see if I can upgrade this from red. I don't give a fuck about the spotlight. This turret's fucking stupid anyways. Krevchenko is always like, beware the auto turret. That is built to take down rioters. This shit couldn't even take my nuts. Bitch ass turret. And I desperately need dead shot. We need speed cola. Jug will probably help. Same with quick revive. Uh, let's grab stamina up. PhD couldn't hurt to slide around people. And that's all my money. And I spent all my blue scrap, so I cannot get a self-revive. So we might be in a bit of a pickle. All right, going back to power. But now we should have zero issue killing zombies. This being purple tier and fully packed, they don't stand a fucking chance. But I'm still going to be in a fight against me versus ammo, apparently. Having 13 bullets isn't that crazy of an amount. I thought it would be more. Oh, we finally have enough for another self-revive. Thank God. I can rest easy. Oh, Panzer's nothing now. Okay, it's still something because it's alive, but 
That's because zombies got in between me and it. I'm um, fucked. I'm so fucked. Decoy? Yeah, that was a great spot to throw it. God damn it. Can I somehow get up here, though? Zombies are, like, twerking on me. There we go. Got it. Hurdle the zombies? Nope, we're going right back down. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. It's like, every time I buy a self-revive, I immediately have to use it. I need to go up and get my perks again. Power is becoming extremely difficult to survive in. I basically grabbed everything besides elemental pop. Tombstone might even be helpful at this point with the amount I'm going down. We already got four downs this game. Oh, they dropped me a self-revive. Let's go. We didn't have to buy one. Thanks, zombies. Very kind of you. I should have never said how we're on mower and power because this power room fucking sucks. So I just left it. How we're on mower. I'm indifferent on the sour though. Oh, we have 1,500 pack kills. We just need a thousand more somehow. Oh, and there's our rotten camo. All done with our normal kills. We just got a lot of everything else to do. No fucking way. I should have just popped my Tesla Storm there. I thought I could make it all the way through. And I grabbed Tombstone, but ain't no way I'm using it. I'm gonna die. That's a guaranteed loss of the game. Oh, there's 1,500 crits. So we're at basically 2,000 crits will be done. Holy fuck, that's a lot. Oh, no. All right. Reviving myself again. And, okay. We actually need to get ourselves back up right here. Come on. That zombie's so low. Let's fucking go. Oh, but I might be fucked. I'm fucked either way. Damn it. Shit, dude. We had eight downs that game. Eight. This must be a good gun. And we still need a thousand more crits. This is fucked. <sighs> Third time's the charm, right guys? Maybe this time around it'll be easier in power if we actually have the power on and we go get perks and everything uh, past or before round 20. That might help out. Yeah, this is a bit easier on round eight than it was before. Actually way easier. Oh, that's fucked up. That's so fucked up. I threw that decoy. Oh, we unlocked a street sweeper. First thing we unlocked this whole fucking game. At least we're getting something done. Well, another part of our Hower on Mauer and Power Sour rhyme was to do it in under two hours. And we just hit the two hour mark, so don't look like that's gonna happen. Because we still have 500 more crits to go. I unlocked Henry? What the fuck? They just call the, the 410 Ironhide Henry? Excuse me? <laughs> Am I fucking high or did I read that wrong? Oh, uh, we're all done with our pack a bunch kills. We still just need crits. And we're gonna die. Fuck. Oh, there's Gold Viper. Let's fucking go. We got the Howard done in power on Mauer. And I am leaving this game. I'm done. Three games is a lot of games to play. But uh, here's our final stats for our very last game. Now let's make sure that we got this Gold Viper. Because that would really suck if we didn't. All right, sweet. We got it. We just need one more shotgun for Plague Diamond. And our other Plague Diamond doesn't look like it counted. Or for our melees, it says we only have one out of nine. So we just have Plague Diamond on our hammer and sickle, but it don't really count. That's weird. All right, well, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. And this is what our Howard D's Nuts looks like with Golden Viper. Not a bad looking weapon. A lot of the early game weapons, like weapons that were out at launch, don't have the best coverage, but this one's not bad. It is a little scratch though, like around the handle for whatever reason, but uh, not terrible. But that's where I'm going to end it. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.